What's going on you savages? We are about to dive into my top 10 favorite horror movies of the early 2000s. So grab yourself some popcorn, get yourself a drink, and let's get this list started. All right, cracking the top 10. We are starting off with House of Wax. Now come on, it doesn't get any more early 2000s than with the cast that we have in this movie. Jared Padalecki, Chad Michael Murray, Paris Hilton, and Alicia Cuthbert. This movie came out in 2005 and is about a group of teens that are traveling to a football game and after camping out for the night and running into car trouble, they seek help at a nearby small ghost town only to find out that it's ran by two insane twin brothers looking to add more to their wax museum. Now it's a very simple plot, nothing too crazy, but it is a fun watch with pretty decent performances from the whole cast. If you're feeling nostalgic, go find this movie, grab it, pop it in, and take a trip back to the wax museum. <laughs> Coming in at the number nine spot, we got Joyride. Coming out in 2001, this movie follows Lewis, who is on his way to pick up the girl of his dreams, Venna but ends up taking a detour to bail out his brother Fuller, who then convinces Lewis to play a prank on a truck driver using a CB radio that puts him in a terrifying chase. Now the duo with Paul Walker and Steve Zahn in this movie is fucking crazy. You would actually think they're brothers in real life. Now if you love thrilling road trip movies, you're for sure gonna love this one. You're gonna enjoy it. I'll always have a blast going back to this movie. to find a highly qualified psychiatrist, not a psychologist. You're gonna need some drugs. Coming in at the number eight spot, we have Dark Ride. Uh, this was a time when the After Dark horror films were first released. These were deemed to be films that were too scary and too graphic to be shown in theaters. And one of those first films was Dark Ride, which came out in 2006. It follows a group of teens on a road trip that take a detour to explore an amusement park known as the Dark Ride. This was one of the few after dark horror movies that I thought held up its end in being too scary and too graphic for theaters. It has some pretty gruesome memorable kills and the killer in this movie gave me the fucking creeps like even just thinking about him, like the way he moved and the way he looked just gives me the freaking chills. He's so weird man but very effective, such a creepy ass killer. Not to mention we also got Patrick Renna. From the Sandlot, we got Ham in this movie. Dude's freaking hilarious. We also got Alex Solowitz in this movie. I find them both pretty funny. Now, if you ever find yourself browsing through After Dark horror movies, you gotta check this one. It's at the top of my list. One of my favorites out of the whole series. Coming in at the number seven spot. We got Cry Wolf, another teeny horror flick. I don't know what it is about these movies, but I love them. They're so much fun. I enjoy watching them. It's always a good time. This movie came out in 2005 and it follows a group of teens at a boarding school who take part and play this group game called Cry Wolf. Essentially, one person is secretly chosen as the killer among the group and the game is played out with lies, deceit, and deliberation to try and uncover the wolf in sheep's clothing. But soon, things take a twist when the game starts to become reality. Now, I think there's a pretty cool concept in this movie because the victims in here actually take a part in creating the killer. Like, they create the outfit, the name, even down to the weapon that he uses. Jared Padalecki also shows up in here. We see him in a lot of early 2000s horror films. Now, this is definitely one of my favorites. I always enjoy a good horror game type movie. Now at the number six spot, we have Saw. Coming out in 2004, this movie follows the lives of two men who are now trapped together in a bathroom, chained to two separate pipes and given puzzles and riddles to try and escape their doom. Damn, I remember the hype for this movie. This was supposed to be a huge game changer in the horror genre at the time. I still remember going out trick or treating in the neighborhood and everybody on the streets was talking about this movie. It was crazy. And it's been quite a success since then with there now being 10, 10 Saw movies in the whole franchise. But I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of the other sequels because it just gets way, way too gory for my liking. 
But this first film is just so perfect for me. I think it has a perfect balance with the gore and the kills, the story. I love the detective side of it. I love that it has like a one setting type place in the bathroom with the two guys and then having to figure out how they got to escape and everything. I think it's pretty cool. I actually think that this movie can still live on to be one of the best horror films, even without all the other sequels. All right, at the number five spot, we have The Ring. Debuting in 2002, star Naomi Watts, who plays Rachel, a journalist who comes across a cursed tape that kills you seven days later after watching it. She takes it upon herself to uncover the secrets behind the videotape to save herself and her son. Now, this was actually one of the first horror films that scared the hell out of me when I was growing up. I still remember one of the scenes in the beginning of the movie where they show that girl in the closet and her face is just mangled and out of place, dude. I could still see the image in the back of my mind. It was so creepy. And the images and the clips that they show in that videotape that is played in the movie is just so, uh, it's so unnerving. It's, it's freaking gross. It makes you want to vomit and it just brings like this dread over your, over your body. And I'm just like, Ugh. and then the first time, the first time you see Samara coming out of the freaking TV, I damn near fell out of my chair. Like that shit was so scary. Like the way she was crawling and then her long black wet hair. It was just, it was pretty scary. Unfortunately, the two sequels that came out after this wasn't as impactful as the first one, but I still come back to this film whenever I want to feel on the edge of my seat while watching a movie. <laughs> At the number four spot, we got Halloween, Rob Zombie's 2007 remake of the original 1978 film. Now, I feel like this movie gets hated on way too much, mostly because of Rob Zombie's writing style and the first half of this movie. But I personally like the first half of this movie because we get to see Michael Myers as a kid and watch him slowly snap into the killer that we all freaking know. Rob Zombie brings in Tyler Maine, who plays adult Myers, and damn, he put on a fucking ruthless performance in this movie. I think this is the scariest Myers that we get in the whole entire franchise. We also get horror fan favorites Brad Dorff as the sheriff and Daniel Harris as the daughter of, who both put on great performances. Now, I'm not a huge Rob Zombie fan, but I love what he did with this movie. It's definitely one of my favorites. Now making the top three, we have Dead Silence coming out in 2007 and directed by James Wan, who is one of my favorite horror movie directors. This movie follows a young widower named Jamie who returns to his hometown seeking answers for a mysterious package of a ventriloquist doll that was found next to his dead wife's body. Now I love this movie so much, this is one of my favorite James Wan directed movies. I love how dark and gloomy and how there's this sense of dread that follows you from beginning all the way to end throughout the whole movie. The design of the puppets and all the ventriloquist dolls that you see in this movie, and even Mary Shaw, dude, they're so scary, so creepy. You would have nightmares if you saw one of them. The story, the atmosphere, and the talent from Juan put this movie close to the top of my list of not only the early 2000s, but of all time also. I would have loved to see a sequel to this movie, but it definitely holds its own as a standalone film. Now at the number two spot we have final destination the ultimate killer in all of horror death itself coming out in the year 2000 we follow alex brownie a high school kid who cheats death after having a premonition of a fatal plane explosion he and several of his classmates leave the plane before the explosion occurs but death later takes the lives of those that were meant to die on the plane we have a pretty cool cast here with Devin Sawa, Ali Larder, Kerr Smith, Sean William Scott, and the Candyman himself, Tony Todd. Now this movie has such an effective but yet simple plot. It's something that we ourselves try to avoid every single day, which is death. It just reminds you that you can try and cheat death all you want, but it's always going to circle back to you. Now it's fair to say that this movie and its few sequels have influenced our minds and how we perceive things and situations. Now I know you wouldn't drive behind a semi-truck 
that's holding giant tree logs in the back, would you? Coming in at the number one spot at the top of my list of horror movies in the early 2000s is Stay Alive. Releasing in 2006, this film follows a group of gamer friends who come across an underground video game called Stay Alive. Their goal is to uncover the truths of the game's urban legend while trying their best to stay alive. They'll soon find out that they'll suffer the same fate in real life as their characters do in the game. Now this is such an overlooked movie, it is easily a hidden gem of the early 2000s. And such a fun cast we have in this film with John Foster, Frankie Muniz, Jimmy Simpson, and Adam Goldberg. Also starring Sophia Bush who was in the Hitcher remake. I'm still very, very surprised that we haven't gotten a sequel or even a remake to this movie. Out of all of the recent reboots that we've been getting, this one definitely deserves one. And there you guys have it, my top 10 favorite horror movies of the early 2000s. Drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy my list. And let me know down in the comments what are some of your favorite horror movies of the early 2000s. If you're new here, don't forget to sub for more future content and I hope to catch you on the next one.